I'm pleased to co-sponsor H.R. 5689, the Resilient American Act, along with uh, Chairman DeFazio, uh, Subcommittee Chairman Titus, and Subcommittee Ranking Member Webster. This bill is going to strengthen our support uh, for communities and individuals mitigating disasters. And we know that every dollar invested up front in mitigation, uh, four to eleven dollars are saved in damages from a disaster. Given that, one way we lower the cost of future disasters is investing up front in mitigation. This bill builds on the bipartisan work that we did on mitigation in the, Discover, or the Disaster Discovery Reform Act of 2018. It ensures mitigation funds are spent and targeted in ways to support efforts by communities and homeowners to save lives and to reduce damages. In my district, my constituents regularly experience flooding that not only causes damage to homes and businesses, but disrupts lives and displaces uh, people. And sadly, the time it takes to recover and receive assistance is far too long. I'm glad to see more being done to make common sense investments on the front end through mitigation projects, which will save taxpayers money. Even more importantly, it can help save lives. This bill also has the support of several groups, including the National Association of Home Builders. And Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record a letter of support from the National Association of Home Builders. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I do again want to thank Chairman DeFazio for working with us on this bill as we have all seen the effects of disasters in our district and across America. And I would urge support uh, this bipartisan legislation and with that reserve the balance of my time.